Hello and welcome to Nick's Allotment Diary. Today I'm going to give you an updated tour of my plot. I last gave you a full tour in February. I thought it was time for an update. Here is the flower bed. The roses, as you can see, are putting on plenty of new growth. So I should have plenty of roses in the summer. Here we have lavender. This has lovely aromatic purple flowers in the summer and the bees love it. These seedlings that are coming through here are calendula. They have uh, orange flowers and the bees love these too. In the greenhouse I'll just give you an update on some of the things that you've seen on earlier videos. These are the shallots that are now coming through. They'll be ready to plant out soon. These are my peas that I planted a few weeks ago. And as you can see, they're starting to uh, produce shoots and these little tendrils. Here we have the sunflowers from the Sunflower Challenge, planted on the 27th of March. They're starting to produce their first true leaves. These are the garlic I planted. Again, those are starting to produce leaves and they'll be able to go out soon. These are Kalet seedlings that I planted on one of my first videos. As you can see, they're looking pretty healthy now and they'll be ready to go out onto the allotment soon. These are the strawberries in the strawberry bed. As you can see, they're now starting to produce flowers. So we should have some strawberries in the next month or so. Over here we have the herb bed with the herbs that you saw me planting on an earlier video. This is curry plant and these are chives here. You can just see the seed heads starting to produce, the flower heads. In this bed we have red cabbage. They're starting to produce quite a few leaves now, so they're looking pretty healthy. And over here, these are the leeks I planted late in the last season. These two beds have recently been dug over and the manure that we put on the top of them have now all been dug in, so they're ready for planting. These are the potatoes in buckets that we planted a few weeks ago. As you can see, none of the potatoes have started to show through yet. But it will probably take a few weeks before we get to see some growth. In this bed, I've got a few brassicas left over from last year. As you can see, there's the purple sprouting broccoli. And this, I think, is a cabbage. This is the fruit cage which was featured in a recent video. As you can see there's plenty of bushes that are starting to flower. The blueberry and the black currants. Here is the raspberry bed that I dug over a few videos ago to take the bindweed out. The raspberries are settled in now and they're starting to flower. And here is the rhubarb that's featured a few times on my videos. There's loads of stems of rhubarb coming through. So plenty of rhubarb crumbles. Here is uh, an apple tree that I've got. This is a variety that's got two different variety of apples growing on it. And the flowers are just coming out. So hopefully this year I'll get some apples on it. Thanks very much for joining me at Nick's Allotment and I'll see you again next time.